Okay, so what you want to do is access the, the image of the boat. And then you want to make a circular selection to go and select the bubble and bring it into the uh, document with your strawberry in it. And then from there you lower the opacity to 60% and then you go to filter liquify. And then you click on the box that says show background. And then from there you just go and then use your brush to, to push the bubble into the shape of a strawberry. The, the good part about this is you can bring it into liquify as many times as you want. So you can get it just right. And after you're done this, you desaturate the bubble. And then you duplicate it, put it on overlay, and then you reduce the opacity down to 60%. This really brings out the highlights. And then afterwards, you go in and then you select all all uh, all of the the little seeds on it you using the uh the uh the the, the mask selection which is right under your paint palette and on on your um utility bar and um yeah when you're done se selecting all, all all the seeds you go to uh select inverse it, uh, in order to go and to get all all of the little seeds because um yeah, yeah um yeah because if you don't do this you'll you'll end up selecting everything but the seeds because how it works is it selects everything but the selection that you drew in and then after that you select all the seeds and then you click copy and then you paste them on an individual layer after you desaturate them and, and and then you lower the the opacity a bit so it blends in better then you duplicate the layer and then you mirror it so it looks like you're uh, looking through the strawberry at the other side and and then after that you um, you you take the background layer and then you desaturate then you put it over, over top so it looks more more clear and then afterwards you go and you clone out the the background of, of the strawberry the, this makes it pop more and and make it makes it look clear and then after that you go to your background layer and then you duplicate it once again and you have one layer set to normal and one layer set to overlay and then you mask it out and then you 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 go and you use a soft brush to bring out the shadows and the highlights of of, of the strawberry and and to make it look more um, clear So now all we really need is a few leaves behind the bubble to to make it really pop. So well, what you need is another is another image reference, and use the same uh, masking method that that we covered earlier to to go and select the leaves, and then of course you click um, select inverse to to uh, select those leaves. You copy the leaves and then you place them on on a separate layer, and then. From there, you flip them over and you transform them. And then you uh, you go and then you mask out the areas that you don't want. And then you you um yeah, and then you erase where 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 the highlight is, j j um just to make it seem like they're behind the bubble more. And, and after you're done that, what, what you want to do is you want to go back to your background layer and so select the leaves. 
and then afterwards you you take the leaves and then you transform them and then you mirror them on on top of the the strawberry to make it look like the leaves are actually re, re, uh, reflecting on top of the strawberry. So the then you you uh, use a mask and you convert it to smart filters and then you uh, you just you, you just mask mask it out until you're and uh, until you like the results. And then since it looks a little gray, I took a more colorful bubble, and then I overlaid it on top of it, so so that then it just adds more co co uh, color to it. And then I messed around with the opacity, and then I finally added a bright added a brightness contrast filter, and I messed around with it to make it pop even more. And then the final step that I made was I added a gradient in the background just to make it finally pop, which is here.